Hi lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the series that we have been basically talking about since October, um, which is for those of you guys that are interested in learning about the interpretation of the tarot cards. Now, this was a service that I was going to provide, um, but after a very careful consideration, I decided to do this, uh, a series on my YouTube channel so that I can help as many people as possible for those of you guys that, like I said, are interested in learning how to read the cards, how to interpret them. Um, this is going to be a Tarot 101. Um, we're going to be dropping videos every Sunday of a specific card and its meaning, its interpretation, what it represents, depending on the type of readings, as well as information and knowledge that I have gained throughout the years. Um, doesn't matter where you're at in the learning of the cards, whether you're an expert, whether you are a newbie, whether you are just recently uh, coming across or understanding what the tarot cards are. Uh, this is basically for everyone. Um, as you guys know, I am always a big encourager of knowledge. Knowledge is power. And um, sometimes, you know, uh, it's always important to brush up on our skills or to learn maybe something that you didn't know um, in the past uh, or in the present. And I hope that this can help you for the future. Um, it is crucial and very important to know the fundamentals, the basics of what each card represents. And that's not even delving into uh, the intuition, the channeling and all of that that comes integrated into one, right? Um, but this is basically the 101 of how to interpret what they represent. And as you guys can see here in the back, um, obviously, if you follow my channel, you've seen the readings that we do. And what is the tarot? The tarot is a uh, deck that is composed of 78 uh, tarot cards, each representing the major arcanas as well as the minor arcanas. And the minors are a representation of the everyday mundane life struggles that we go through in life. Um, like you can see here in the background, the three of swords, the queen of pentacles, the page of pentacles, those are minors. And um, it is composed of four different elements, which is that of uh, coins being earth, uh, fire being wands, uh, water being cups, and um, swords being air. And of course, the channeling is spirit. So in essence, it is a representation of the, the all five elements, uh, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. Uh, that is us, the ones that are using the tarot as tools. So what the, uh, as an example, the wands, the fire energy, what it represents is passion. It is action, it is desire, it is a representation of the element of that of fire, um, which is action. Um, the coins or the pentacles is a representation of earth, and it is all to do with the earthly bound, the possessions, um, the material, the physical body, um, the work, the finances, right? It, it composes of everything that is mundane and material. Uh, the cups is a representation of water, and water is emotions. It is how we process emotions, how we react to certain situations. It is ruling uh, our emotions. In essence, it is, you know, like I said, a uh, representation of the water element, which is emotions. And finally, swords, swords being the representation of air, and it is all to do with the intellect, how we process, how we think, uh, the patterns, how we react to situations, our thinking process. Um, so these are the four major suits, earth, air, fire, and water. Um, and like I said, these are found in the uh, minor arcanas and the major, as you guys can see here, up here, uh, that is the devil, the lovers right at the corner, um, the uh, Sagittarius uh, representation here with temperance, uh, and the hanged man right here. Those are major arcanas, and that is a representation of all the planets as well as the zodiac signs. 
These are the major transitions that happen in our life. This is a representation of um, major celestial events, um, eclipses. This is uh, our return of Saturn, our Jupiters, uh, our Venus, our uh, houses. It, it represents everything that has to do with the celestial that is out of our control. It's not everyday type of things that we have to deal with. It's major life. Uh, changes that are being represented by the major, which is why it's called major arcanas. Um, so we're going to be talking about each single uh, one of the tarot cards, starting with the zero, which is the full card, going all the way to uh, the world, which is um, culmination and ending, um, and then getting into the minor arcanas. So I hope that on this journey, you keep an open mind and an open heart. Um, like I said, we're going to be teaching you guys the basics as well as what they could possibly uh, represent in certain type of spreads or certain type of readings. Um, but I want you guys going into this. I want you guys to go into this with an open mind and an open heart um, to really be able to uh, become a sponge and take on as much information as you possibly can. Um, of course, you know, learning the practice or the tarot cards is something that is not overnight. It takes practice, dedication, devotion. Um, and ultimately, I hope that this helps you um, to see the tarot cards as a tool of spiritual guidance. Um, there is no judgment in the tarot cards. There is no, um, basically, they tell you what it is, and they will show you. Should you continue doing what you're doing? This is the path. Should you change certain aspects about what you're doing or how you're dealing with things? This is the path. Um, something that I tell my clients to always understand is that the tarot cards won't always tell us what we want to hear, but they're always going to tell you what you need to hear. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this journey with us uh, through this uh through this series. If you guys uh, enjoy it, like, subscribe, uh, comment below, let us know um, so that you guys can help with the algorithm. As lately, my channel has been, it seems like it's been shadow banned from YouTube. Depend, I'm thinking because of the spell work, but that's a whole different thing. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this series. I hope it gives you guys as much knowledge. Um, back in the days, we didn't have uh, YouTube, we did, <laughs> we had to do it the hard way, right? The typical way. Sorry, you guys, it's been a long day. Um, so I hope that you use me, take all my knowledge, all my information to help you better relate, better understand the cards. Um, I also want to, uh, you know, give you guys advice here uh, when learning the cards learn to not create separation between the cards. I want you guys to fully understand the depthness of this. Um, the 78 cards, there's a purpose why they're numbered a certain way, why uh, one comes after the other. There is a purpose behind it all, and we'll get into that. But what I want you guys to understand that, think of it as a web, uh, a web that a spider uh, created, right? It is all interlinked. It is all one. It is all connected. Just like us here on the earthly plane, we are all connected. A lot of people like to create judgments. A lot of people like to create distinctions between our skin tone, uh, between how we look, between what we do. Um, they're really on a grander scale of things. There is no distinction. Anything that is of energy is connected. We are all connected. Um, we are all spiritual beings living a physical uh, a physical life, a physical um, living aspect, but our essence is in fact spiritual. Um, so I want you guys to understand this concept when it comes to learning the cards. There's no separation between one and the other. They are all collectively connected and they all have a significant, starting with the zero, which is the full. Uh, there is no number there, but it is a zero. It is the plant, or sorry, the seed that is being planted. 
it is a representation of when you come into these into this earth and and you take your first grasp of breath uh, the first breath of air uh, when you're being birthed out that's what the fool represents um, in the tarot cards so it's almost like understanding that we in the tarot cards are being represented by the fool and the fool goes through its journey through all of these cycles in our lives through all these major arcanas through all these minor arcanas uh, whether it's our everyday struggles at work and home life business life whatever to major transformations right when we get married when we find the person that is for us when we have kids these are all interlinked and connected together so we are being represented by the fool in the cards um, going on this journey right going towards this wheel um, of every single aspect until we get to the elevation be graduating the world right um, uh, our consciousness uh, becoming one uh, with our subconscious and being aware of it um, the the illumination right the spiritual awakening finding our purpose finding our, our passions our desires so in essence it is the fool's journey i'm sure you guys have heard of that if you guys are not new uh to tarot i'm sure you've heard of the fool's journey and it is exactly that it is us coming into the earth being birthed out of our mothers taking our first breath of air and our consciousness becomes illuminated right and that is what the fool represents going into this journey that we call the major arcana so my lovelies i hope that this gives you some type of insight into what is to come i hope you guys enjoy this series as much as i enjoy doing these for you um don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see each other soon bye